Not y'all not gonna be in the studio? I wanna walk it. Oh. It's called a cameo. Oh, okay. In the movie world. <laughs> I got you. Howdy ho people. Uh I know it's been a long time, a really long time since I've had a video, as people have keep telling me. Well, we had some problems. Uh, well, I still don't have a boat. That's problem number one for me. <laughs> uh, my boat's sitting on the trailer with no engine. So, and then Rob had some engine problems, but he goes about his engine problems a little differently than mine. He just went and got two new ones. <laughs> I wish I could do that. It must be nice. It must be nice. But anyway, uh, so, you know, we just had a tropical storm go through. So what are we going to do? Go spearfishing. That's right. <laughs> So it's red snapper season, just like last year. It was, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Tropical storm. It's like they plan that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, we're gonna go try to do some uh, red snapper, and uh, we've got Andy sitting behind this Carlton's uh, MIA. He's he'll be here. He's Carlton. So, uh, and because they're trying not to be on the video, you can see that uh, we got Combs and Fred there and uh, the two stars of the show are right over there on the back of the boat those two new 350s that's true <laughs> close up that. yeah, that's right we'll get some more footage of those a little later so uh you ready to do this Andy sure yeah. okay there you go say something <laughs> good right, morning that's right all right let's do it people we got a really late start today it's 7 30. normally it's dark when we go out but uh, excited to be here, and I'm sure I'll get the biggest fish. <laughs> oh, 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 calling it out. I love it. Calling it out. Way to go. You can see here it was a nice ride out. Uh, Rob couldn't open it up because we're still in the break-in period, but it was a nice ride nonetheless. Now, early in the season, I dove this ledge, Fred and I did, and it was covered up with red snapper. They were everywhere, and they were big, too. Now, I knew it was a long shot that they would still be here in any number, but we had to try. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot. They were all medium-sized, small, and few and far between this day, and we dove a lot. We dove, I did four dives this day trying to find red snapper, and all of them were too far away or uh, just not conducive to shooting. So I missed him on my first attempt, so I wanted to back him up into this rock and not let him go out to the ledge. And it worked, because there's nowhere for him to go underneath there. So he was all mine. When I look up right over here, you can see Combs, that big old cloud is uh, Combs shooting the red snapper that he got that particular day. Um, I think Fred got a small one too, but that was all the snapper we got this day. But you know what? We had fun and we shot other fish, so it was still a good day overall. So I thought this was pretty ingenious. I uh, didn't have enough scope on the uh, anchor here to keep it on the bottom so it kept lifting off. So I put the lobster connected to the anchor and he kept it down and walked along the bottom with it to keep it down. <laughs> that was awesome. That was almost textbook, man. It's almost as if I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Almost.
This barracuda refused to leave Carlton I alone. And I never could figure out what he was so interested in. I thought it was my, the end of my spear tip, but that wasn't it. Uh, I've got like a shiny buckle, of course. Uh, that wasn't it. I can never figure out why he was so interested. But he would not leave us alone. It wasn't the, it wasn't the, you know, spinies or anything. It was something that was on us. I, I have no idea what it was. <laughs> Can I go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I can't. Can you turn my tank on? Oh, nice shooting, Stakes. Say now, I'm ready for a So on the way down, Fred spies some pompano, as you can see here. So he keeps his eye on them and gets a shot off on one. They're they're small, but they're uh, nice, uh, good eating size uh, pompano. So check it out. So Fred's trying to get Rob to go uh, shoot, some, shoot some of those pompano, but see, Rob is free shafting, and he doesn't want to shoot any of those pompano with the free shaft because he thinks he'll lose his shaft, which he very well may. So he just lets Fred have all the fun shooting the pompano, and he kind of concentrates on being a wrangler. A very good one at that, as you'll see in a second. <laughs> So Rob's been watching a bunch of Yellowstone, so he's doing his impression here of a cutting horse and uh, turning these little doggies back to Fred so uh, Fred can get a shot off on one of these pompano. Good job there, cowboy. So it took me like five minutes to get my line unsnagged from this rock. He went in that side, underneath, and back out, and snagged my line in the process. 
So that's a pretty poor shot if you noticed. Uh, but I haven't used a brown gun in a long time. And I didn't realize the shaft was very bent. And it's shooting to the high and to the right. And it, unfortunately it was this trip and into the next trip before I figured out something was wrong, badly wrong. <laughs> As I said before, it, everybody kind of struggled on this particular day simply because we did a lot of dives trying to find red snapper. And we shot fish, like I said, but not a huge amount of fish. One here, one there, uh, about every dive. So we ended up shooting a lot of fish in the end, but we had to work hard for it. Okay. I don't know where CC is. Oh shit. Uh, let, me, let me jump in the water and pull back. <laughs> So listen, I know it's hard to believe that I missed a fish that big that close, but check this out. Look how far to the right that thing comes out of that, sh the shaft comes out of the end of that gun. I mean, that is ridiculous. Look at that. So in case you didn't understand that, that says stop, let's put two floats on it. Because I've had this experience with Kobe before. Always put two floats on. You can look here, see how much current's going by too. It was uh it was ripping on the bottom actually.
answer. I didn't realize that Carlton had already shot a fish and had lost it when he shot that cobia. Uh, I kind of felt sorry for this guy. He got shot twice. <laughs> so I don't put too much of it in the video, but you see that grouper? He just kind of popped out, swam along, popped back in a hole. I saw a whole lot of that on this dive. They're a pop-up grouper, like a little whack-a-mo. They pop up, look at you, go back down in a hole. But they were all over the place. Um, unfortunately, I didn't shoot any. Um, and right here, uh, there's a big spiny here. I'm like, whoo, that's a big one. I'm going to grab him. But alas, I had a moray eel problem. Uh, and that moray was going to have none of that. And I went sticking my hand down there to try to get that lobster with a moray uh strongly discouraging said activity Y'all are diving here. We gotta get the buoy up because it's on a rock and we're gonna go back up. And y'all are diving this spot. Huh? There's fucking fish everywhere. Every time I looked around, there was a gag coming out of a hole. Good Lord. Sure the door. Hey, does it? Does it? No, I think I missed it. But uh, does it count if you can't uh, shoot a fish that's already on a stringer? <laughs> did you see what I did? That, that Kobe was still swimming when he got to the top. Oh, I know he was.